Welcome back. We are here with Chef Rocky. Lucky he made it out of all the crazy weather yesterday. But we're talking about a spam breakfast skillet. Yeah, I knew I had to get back. Despite all of the storms, I would have drove all night <laughs> just to make it back for our spam breakfast yes. skillet. Um, we're going to get this going because it's going to take a few interesting components. Kay. All I've got right here is just some diced cubed potatoes. These are just frozen breakfast potatoes. Okay. A little bit of hot olive oil. We're just going to put a light fry on those. Now, you can buy these frozen because you're not going to use all of them, right? So you can mm -hmm. keep the rest of them in your, in your freezer. Okay. That way, anytime you want to make a skillet or something like this, then you've already got them. Okay? Perfect. We're gonna add to that our diced spam, right? We spam. just take that right out of the can and we just dice it into bite-sized bits. Now here's the key to spam. I'm not a huge fan of it when it's just directly out of the can. Okay. Right? But if we put a little bit of heat to it, it's gonna start to color up a little bit. With most proteins, if you can call this a protein, <laughs> we wanna put a good hard sear on it, right? Okay. So right here, we just wanna brown it up just a little bit. And to help with that flavoring process, we're gonna add some chopped green onion. I use the green onion because it's springtime, it's a beautiful light, light onion flavor, it's got a cool color as well. And we're gonna just let that start to cook down just a little bit. Okay. Because I wanna get a, I wanna get a little bit of color, like I said, on that spam, because that caramelization of the spam itself and the fats on the inside yeah. is what's really gonna really gonna give us the good flavor of the spam. Skillet that we're yeah. looking for. It's almost okay. like that fried bologna kind of. It is right. Almost exactly the same. Okay. Yeah. Hit it with a little of our uh, tell cherry pepper. This comes from our friends over at Salt and Wolfland. Now I don't add salt to this. If you've ever had spam, you know exactly why. <laughs> Spam's already pretty salty, so we're not okay. gonna add any additional salt to this. But another spice I really like to use is chili powder. Now you can get, of course, the red chili powder. Uh -huh. This is a Melissa's Hatch green chili powder. Ooh. We're gonna use a little bit of that. That's a great flavor. Uh, Melissa's Produce produces a lot of great item produce, obviously, but they have a lot of great spices like this one here. Okay. All right, so as we're, we're kind of letting that color up a little bit on the bottom, we're just gonna break a few eggs, then it's this simple, okay? I've got okay. my oven preheated to about 350 degrees. Okay. Put a little bit of color here. I'm gonna break, probably in, the, in this size pan, this is about an eight inch pan, I'm gonna drop in about four or five eggs into that. Okay. Then I'm gonna to top it with some cheese. This is just a Cheddar Jack blend, mm -hmm. and it's gonna go right into the oven for about 10 minutes or just until those eggs are set. Okay. And that is gonna be the skillet.